What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And in today's video, I wanna talk about pain, movement, and how this relates to martial arts and self-defense, okay? So before I get started, take a second to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and click on the notification button to get notified when I make videos. It helps me out a lot, appreciate it. So let's get right into it. So what does pain and movement have to do with fighting? Well, here's the thing. Pain and movement share the same uh, neural pathway, okay? So if you could picture the brain right here, let's say, and then you have the brain stem which connects to your spinal cord. So the neural pathway for pain and, and movement are one and the same. So what that means is that when, when there's movement, you can't really feel pain as much. Like you can, but it's kind of like in the background and vice versa, okay? So then if you're feeling pain, it's most likely because you're not moving, right? So how does this apply to martial arts and self-defense and, and fighting? Well, it's simple. When you're, when you're in the middle of a fight, right? You don't actually, because you're moving a lot, okay? So then you're, the pathway is being used by movement, right? So when you get hit, like you'll feel the hit but you won't necessarily feel the pain right away. You see, you see where I'm getting at here? So what that means is that usually when, let's say guys go into a, a boxing, kickboxing match, right? They were hitting each other uh, left and right for um, you know, 12 rounds of three minutes. I mean, it's only when they stop moving, when they get home, when they cool down, or the next day that they really feel the effects of all the damage that, they, that they've endured, that they've accumulated during that, uh, that fight, right? So, what does this mean? It means to me that unless you deliver a knockout blow, okay, or you, or a dis dis disabling blow to your to your opponent, the opponent is still gonna come after you. It's still able to fight and is still there, you know. So it's not over until it's over, so to speak. So uh, what's a knockout blow? A knockout blow would be uh, I. To the solar plexus, okay, uh, I'm not, sorry, I'm pointing it here, but you know, the solar plexus. So if you kick a guy there, if you guys ever been kicked there, you guys will know that you're completely winded, your stomach hurts and you fold over and you just, you know, fall to the ground holding your stomach. Uh, if you get a, uh, a liver shot, well, there's a little delayed reaction there, I don't know, like two, three, four seconds, five seconds, and then you drop to the ground. Okay, or if you, get, um, if you get concussed, if you get rocked really hard here, your brain, uh, you know, it floats in, in liquid inside your skull and if, if your brain touches your skull, concussed, boom, you're down, okay? So that's stopping an opponent with, um, that's one way to stop an opponent, okay? And the other way is where you de de uh, debilitate him. So meaning you hit him so hard that you break something, like you kick his, uh, his knee so hard that you cave it in and uh, all the ligaments and you break something and you pull and you stretch and you tear all the ligaments, then yeah, he's not gonna be able to continue because he can't walk, okay? Or if you snap his, uh, if you dislocate somebody's shoulder, I mean, you know, yeah, they might, they might still try and fight you but it's gonna be pretty pathetic and chances are you'll, you're gonna win the fight, okay? So unless you do two of those things, either a, you KO the person, you stop that person, uh, by KO or by um, you know rendering them uh, handicapped so to speak then they're still gonna come at you okay so when I say love taps just won't cut it I mean that what I mean by that is that that's where a lot of uh, martial arts okay like when it gets too fancy and 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 you know you see things and it's it's not to to badmouth these arts right but you see things like in kung fu in wing chun and in, in, in karate well maybe not karate karate they're pretty they're pretty straight to the point and, and they go they hit really hard but when you see things like multiple hits like this or you see bam 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 you know they're 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 doing um like for example they're backhanding someone and you know like it's it might not work because that's the thing, man. Like if, um, if, if we follow this line of thinking where these two pathways can't, uh, this one pathway and these two, uh, two senses can't exist at the same time, uh, more or less, 
then unless you knock the person out or handicap them on the spot, the person is gonna continue. So when you get too fancy and you start hitting people or you start like, you move really fast, but you know, uh, you, you touch the guy multiple times, like 10, 20 times, blah, 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 and you're going like this and stuff like that, like chances are that person is gonna, well, first of all, they're not just gonna stand there. They're gonna get hit, they're gonna move, but while they're moving, they can, that pain takes a back seat to the movement so they can still fight, okay? And what, uh, for, for guys who don't do a, a lot of sparring, uh, they don't realize that just because you hit somebody, uh, like let's say you punch them in the nose, yeah, you're gonna, you know, it's gonna hurt, they're gonna feel it, but as they move and they, you know, like they start moving around and stuff like that, they're gonna, it's gonna take a back seat and they're still gonna be able to, to fight you, right? Um, so unless the, the blow is strong enough to knock out your opponent, or to handicap them, then chances are the fight is still on. So that's what I wanted to share today. And so if the fight is still on, then you gotta, you know, well, you gotta keep going until it's done, right? Until you can neutralize the, uh, the opponent. So that's why I think that if you, if you don't spar, then you, you never come to realize uh, this truth right here is that when people fight, okay, or when you're hitting somebody, unless you, if, if you're catching them off guard, that's another story, right? But if you're not catching them off guard and, and let's say you guys are, you know, you're facing off and then blah, 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 he pushes you, you push him, boom, boom, you start fighting and stuff like that. It's not going to uh, end that fast, uh, most likely. Even if you use uh, dangerous uh, types of techniques, uh, like you eye poke them or you kick them in the nuts and you know, it might not be over right away, like as, as you might believe. So I just wanted to kind of put some insight into that and maybe bust that myth a little bit so that you guys uh, train the right way, which is, well, not the right way, but I mean, like get involved, uh, try to find a way to, to do some sparring uh, in whatever, um, you uh, in whatever martial art you practice if you're already sparring then you know that's great so you know exactly what i'm talking about so and also when you're fighting you got to remember um there's such a thing called adrenaline so when you're on adrenaline man you can get eye poked you can get in the throat and stuff like that and like you, you know you, you could still go man you can take a beating and and the, the the human body is a a survival machine we are made to survive so that's why I guess these two pathways evolved, uh, sorry, this one pathway with these two senses that use the same pathway, our bodies evolved that way. It's so that we could take a, 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 a licking and keep on ticking. I just took that from Duracell. I doubt they're gonna try and sue me for that. But anyways, um, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope that was informative and helpful. And um, stay safe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.